Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect Bloody Mary. And the trick is, you got to build it. So, of course, first start with vodka. This is uh, New Amsterdam. Not the cheapest, but not, not, whatever, all vodka's the same. Worcestershire. This is the purest tomato juice I could find. You don't want any of that fancy mixer. Just get regular old tomato juice. Cocoa, Tabasco, horseradish. White pepper, fine white pepper. White pepper is just regular pepper without the shell. And then uh, cocktail olives, the big ones with the pimentos. That, lime, ice, shaker, let's go. First what you wanna do is you wanna measure out your fluid. Usually I do about 50-50 vodka to uh, tomato. So that looks like about four shots maybe, five shots, something like that. It's a heavy duty drink. We're gonna do about half tomato juice, right? We're gonna dump this into the cocktail shaker. We're gonna throw some ice into the cocktail shaker. Next, we want to put horseradish. Horseradish. What the trick is, is you want to try to get the juice of the horseradish. You don't actually want the horseradish. But this is so finely ground, I think we'll get away with doing just a scoop of horseradish. So it's creamy, it'll dissolve. With the thick horseradish, you want to push a spoon into it and let the, the juices go out. We're going to do a couple squirts of uh, Worcestershire. We're going to do some dang white pepper. Use the good tooth. Chew through it. Pop, pop, pop. Get a look inside here. All the material. Classic Tabasco is the only hot sauce you should be using in the Bloody Mary. You have a good tooth. And then um, lime. The thing about putting it through a strainer is you don't want all that stuff floating around in your drink. Getting stuck in your teeth is not fun. So we're gonna put all that in there, get all this, throw a couple damn olives in there. Actually, we're gonna throw the olives in at the end. Though, a little bit of olive juice, whoop, never hurt anybody. Fill all the damn ingredients. Get different angles of me doing this. At this point, it's nice and cold. You can feel the metal freezing. Typically you'd have a skewer with three olives on it. But we're just gonna do the little surprise tactic. Boop, boop. No one likes getting hit in the face with ice cubes, but you get hit in the face with an olive, it's nice. It's a welcome thing. The accoutrement is always a slice of lime and a bit of celery. I usually like the big ass celery with the flowery heads. So I get the ones with the flowery heads in the middle of the thing. They just look better sticking out the top. And there you go. You got the perfect Bloody Mary every single time. Let's taste it. It could actually be colder. Can I taste it? In this instance, yeah. Better cold. 
More ice. Back. I'm going back in. I'm going to save them olives. Back in. Taste test number two. You would never know that that's 50% vodka. It's uh, one of God's greatest creations. Happy holidays, and here's to uh, Bloody Mary. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> wow! This is great! <laughs> Great, Coco. Yeah,